everyone so for today's video i'm in my work truck i was heading off to work but uh i found this great deal on offer up the, for my truck i'm in my work truck right now but for the other truck for the 96 ford f-150 uh let me show you guys what i found so it's somebody on offer up Let's see if it focuses on the phone there we go so it's a complete interior it's also coming off of a single bed 96 ford f-150 and the great deal about it is uh they only want 100 bucks for it and they're bucket seats uh unopposed to the ones that i have which is a whole buck uh bench seat i'm sorry so this one it's a red interior and it's pristine so we're gonna go ahead and check it out it's only about 15 minutes from my house and they're asking 100 bucks so if we can get it for a good deal that that already is a good deal so if we can get it for an even better deal why not all right so let's go ahead go ahead and follow me see if they allow me to film okay so we're almost here actually it was about 25 minutes close to 30 minutes from my house uh, but it's one of our local junkyards and apparently they have some good stuff so right now we're still on the freeway um, by old tie here in San Diego and see my GPS right there it says about five six minutes so we should be there relatively soon okay so according to the GPS we are here it's just a bunch of little uh, local junkyards all gathered into one area so now we just have to look for the right one which is Jay and I so that's exactly what we're doing right now um, I'll bring you guys back in a second all right bye -bye. okay so we have found it right here Jay and I let me just go park and let's see if they allow us to film inside most of these little junkyards um, well most of these junkyards they do not they don't allow filming so we'll see what they say all right wow the seats are amazing so they wouldn't let me film inside um i guess due to their competition that they have because it's a bunch of little junkyard traps all piled into this huge area here in san diego but let me show you guys the seat i mean just other than a few rips and tears uh it's pretty darn good check that out i mean it was kept nice i mean this is the only ripped right here if you guys can tell this is that right there it's, it's all complete check that out all complete and just for uh we settled so they had it listed well they really didn't have anything listed any price well but i contacted them before i even came down here to see what was the price and they told me it was gonna run me roughly about uh, 150 dollars so once we got here the guy said well is it a bench seat or a bucket seat i told him hey you know it's a bucket seat uh, it's two of them so he's like okay those are a bit more pricey uh, i'm gonna do a buck fifty uh but then he asked the other guy who was working on it or taking him out is like hey are they in perfect condition or not perfect condition and the other guy said well they're a bit teared up and a bit weathered out so the guy settled on a hundred dollars um that's the that's the price I was gonna offer a hundred dollars and that was uh, I was willing to go up to 120 I mean these seats are getting much more rare so we did we ended up selling a hundred dollars and I have some brand new bucket seats for the f-150 I can't wait to get these upholstered and inst all right everybody so it's been a few days since we got the bucket seats there they are and these are gonna look good let me just take a seat in one of them Okay, and so today what we're gonna do is go get him uh, upholstered. So we're gonna go to one of my um, well recommended shop. I really don't have anybody in the upholstery business, but we're gonna take it with somebody who knows how to and see how it can come out. So let's go ahead and load him into my truck.
right, so I got the seats all loaded up in my work truck. Um, so let's go ahead to the upholstery shop. Let's see how much, uh, what they quote me, and see how long it takes. Uh, but I'm already pretty excited for these seats. They're, they look, I mean, as is, they look pretty bitching, but uh, we can't go with the red seats with a desert brown interior and then a white truck just doesn't go. So, uh, not sure what I'm gonna do, either vinyl or, or cloth. Not too sure yet, but we'll figure it out once we get there. All right, guys. So, I'll see you back once we get to the shop. All right, everyone. So, we just dropped off the seats. Uh, so I had to come I had a few estimates made over there in San Diego and it was gonna cost me 800 to a thousand dollars to get uh, reupholstered. So I wanted suede with vinyl in it or leather. I didn't really care I wanted the cheapest option, but everywhere I went they wanted either 800 to a thousand dollars So I decided to come to old go beautiful Mexico City, I mean Mexico, not Mexico City, but I came down to TJ. It's only about a uh, half an hour drive from San Diego. It's literally uh, I mean 15 miles or so depending on traffic uh, half an hour to 20 minutes um, So I got an estimate here came down here watched this guy shop. It was really recommended uh, He was even on Yelp. He had about uh, 40 reviews with 4.4 stars and he quoted me $250 to do that suede and vinyl design that I wanted. Now, you guys saw them how they were, and I want to keep them a secret. The guy said I couldn't really film them there, so I wasn't allowed. But I'll show some befores and afters. And he said he, it was going to take him roughly around three, three business days. So we're, today is Friday. We're going to come pick him up. Obviously, it doesn't work on the weekends, but we're going to come pick him up. Uh, he said, uh, I'm going to roughly around Wednesday, give him a call. So that's it for today. Uh, we'll see you guys back on the next video. And hopefully we got some nice seats to put in the truck. All right. Thank you guys. Later.